everybody. Welcome back to another video of Wii 421. And I bet you know what this is, right? This is the iPod Touch 7th generation, 32 gigabyte. And we are going to be setting it up for you here on camera. Say hi to my camera. Hi. All right. So um, I unboxed it about two years ago. And it got lost, and for some reason, it, it was dead, so we couldn't find it. And it got reset for some reason. So, we are going to go ahead and power this thing on and set it up. So, here we go. Ooh, look at that. There's the Apple logo. And we see a immediate screen here. It should show them. Um, yeah, look, it, it says hello. Oh, look, we can see the details. Oh, I should get that off camera. Look, it shows different languages. That's funny. All right, so let's press home. And I, yes, I want to use English. Select your country or region, United States. So I could do a quick start. No, I'm not going to do that. So I can go through the full setup. Set up manually. And, ooh, I should do that off camera. It's going to ask me to select a Wi-Fi network. I'm going to select mine and enter in my password. There we go. Should work. There we go. Okay. Data and privacy. Yes, I'm going to use that. And I can create a passcode. So, yes, I will do that off camera. And sometimes it'll say... This passcode can be easily guessed. I'm just going to use it anyway because that's something that I can remember easily. Use anyway, re enter passcode. And we see another screen. So choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPod Touch. Restore from iCloud backup, restore from Mac and PC, move data from Android. I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, I guess I'm going to do this off camera. So, just give me a couple of seconds. It doesn't take me that long to enter in my Apple ID. I apologize. Okay, that's done. Password. Okay. So we're good. And it sent me a verification code. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. Okay. We are good. And next I have terms and conditions. Just agree to that. And it said it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. So, yes, I'm going to pause the video here. And I will meet you back here once this is done. Okay, so I'm back here, and it's asking me about express settings. I'm going to use them, because I always use them. Keep your iPod Touch up to date. Uh, if it's not up to date, then I'll just do it manually so I don't have to wait. Improve Siri and Dictation. Uh, not now. Screen time, 
Uh, so you can get a we weekly report with insights about your screen time. I'll just set that up later. App analytics. Uh, don't share. And I can use appearance, so I can do light or dark. I like it light. Um, I think there's a way that it can do it like dark at night and light in the daytime. So I'll just do that for now. And welcome to iPod. And there it is. It's set up. Look at that. We have a fully working iPod. And yes, I can definitely tell it needs to be updated because this looks like iOS 13 because in iOS 14, they have the red music icon. Oh, just got that message. Not now. And yep, so yep, everything seems to be working okay. There's camera. Oh, wow, while using. So yep. Get one more look at it. There's the iPod Touch. So um, stay tuned for a, a test video with the new iPod Touches video camera. And eventually I will write a review about this. Ooh, this thing's getting burning hot. Oof, yikes. So yep, get one more look at it. Isn't it cool? Ooh, look at that. So yep, stay tuned. This thing is like overheating. This thing is really hot. I'm going to power that off right now immediately. Wow. Did not realize it could get that hot. All right. It's time for me to take a mint. All right. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And that's it. Thanks for watching this setup of the iPod Touch.